In this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple APA formatted table according to the APA 7th edition guidelines. You can see here the anatomy of a table. First of all, before the table you should always have a preamble of some kind. It shouldn't repeat what is in the table. It should tell you what the reader should conclude about the table. Then what you do is you would have the table number right here and that would be in bold and then double space underneath it the title of the table in italics not bold but italics and then another double spaced line here and then you have the table body itself and you can see that the top row of labels has a a um, line a borderline above and a borderline below the uh, the label row then the body of the table can be single one and a half or double spaced in this case it looked better making it double spaced so I double spaced the body of the table there's no borders around any of these rows and then I highlighted the bottom row here and I set a bottom border to the overall row okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, recreate this so that you can see what the steps are in Word now this was just typing this preamble so for the sake of completeness I'm just going to copy and paste that down here. Then what I'm going to do is the other thing you've got to remember to do is go to the normal font and modify it so that it's the the font that you are going to be using throughout your paper, one of the approved fonts in this case, uh, 12 point times New Roman. And then what I would do is um, make sure I click on normal font for where my mouse pointer is. And then I would type in table 1 and I would highlight that in a bold font. Then what I would do is I would type finance balanced scorecard performance and I would format that as an italic. Then after I get that together I'm going to go back to set this as normal font and I'm going to insert the table which I happen to know is a 2 by 5 table with the headings. And I'm going to go metric and I'm going to go possible points and APA encourages the use of the percent sign in table label headings and then I'm going to type in stock price profits leverage overall and possible points I'm going to put 25, 75, 50 and then the overall average would be 50 okay now that I have that what I can do is I can select this table and I can use the menu that pops up or another thing I could do is I could just select the table and go up here to table design and then go to borders which I'm going to do I'm going to say that there's no border for the entire table now this whole table needs to be selected when you do this so when I click on that and I go to borders no border that removes all the borders from the table then I highlight the first row and I go to borders top border and bottom border and then I select overall as well that row and then I go to bottom border now at this point when I look at it it seems that the body of the table could be double spaced to make it look more consistent with the table one number heading and the title of the table so I'm gonna highlight this table and I'm gonna go here to double spacing and then there I have a property formatted APA 7th edition table.